When I was about 14, I read an article in an electronics magazine which talked about a new kind of computer that a company was making, which sounded very exciting. And it turned out that the company was actually located in Cambridge, just a few miles away from where I lived. My dad encouraged me to write them a letter and see if they'd give me a job. And so I did, and slightly to my surprise, they wrote back and told me to come in during the school holidays and they'd find me something to do. I went along and I met Herman Hauser, the co-founder of the business, and eventually he says uh, I wouldn't leave, so he handed me uh, one of their new computers, the Acorn Atom, and told me to go home and see what I could do with it. I came back the next day with a version of the Star Trek game uh, converted to run on that computer, and everybody in the office played Star Trek for a while, and they told me I could keep on coming. A year or so later, Acorn was lucky enough to win the contract to develop the BBC Micro, and I ended up spending a lot of my school holidays working in the Acorn office, helping to debug the operating system and the BBC Basic, the language that was built into the machine. I worked with Sophie Wilson and Steve Ferber and the team that developed the machine for several months, and I was able to take away as a prize an official Acorn Bug Hunter t-shirt for finding problems in the software and helping the team to make the machine complete. It was a really exciting way to get involved in the beginning of the computer industry. And when I left school at 17, I went to work at Acorn for a couple of years before setting off and uh, starting my own business at age 19. So I think the BBC Micro was really important to develop my early interest in computers. And I was really proud to have a chance to be involved in helping to make it a successful thing.